All right, guys, so friendly reminder, you do have a vocab quiz tomorrow, 21. We just moved it over there for you. Uh, so we have a vocab quiz 11 through 20 tomorrow, Wednesday, 21 through 30. On Wednesday, you have your primary and your map due. If you are not here because of uh, picture day, you are still responsible for both your map and your primary. So please make sure you get them done. Um, all right, let's go. So we have three to do today. Are we excited? One's from Marco Polo. These are really cool. The Aztecs are pretty awesome. I couldn't make a decision, so I put them all. All right, here we go. Hernan Cortez, conqueror of the Aztecs from his, uh, from his second letter to the Emperor Charles V, 1520. There's a lot to unpack here. What do we know? Evan. Yeah, he's a conquistador. And what is a conquistador? Oh, no, I, I, I am not spelling this correct. <laughs> it says conquistador. Just don't look close. <laughs> Sorry. I've only written it three times today. It's fine. I'm so glad I'm recording this. This is great. All right, conquistador, what does that mean, Evan? Spain, yes, that's what I really wanted to know. He is from Spain, and he conquers territory, hence why he's called a... Conquistador. All right, what else do we know? What do you got, Colton? Oh, yeah, he's just... Well, he doesn't kill them immediately. Yeah, but he doesn't kill them immediately. When Okay, so guys, think about it. So you have... They're Mexican, so they have darker skin, and all of a sudden this big white boat with massive white sails show up in their bay. And these, like, pasty white people get off the boat who are, like, ghastly white. Why are they ghastly white? Well, they've been sl sleeping, living on this boat for three months. Most of them are undernourished at this point because they were not expecting the trips to be this long. They get caught off and tied. So they get off the ship and they are, like, skeletons of men and they're pasty white. Well, if we had a bunch of green people show up outside my door right now, what are we going to do? Are we going to start slaughtering them or are we going to be like, holy shit, what the hell is happening? We're, are we going to try to kill them or are we going to give them stuff so they don't kill us? Oh, oh really? You're going to take down an alien? Yes. No, I said give them stuff. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to totally give them some stuff. We're going to give them whatever Sophia has in her backpack, that really pretty... Uh, pencil pack she has there. These are some items we can give. But they're going to. So when the Aztecs first arrive, when the Spanish first arrived, are the Aztecs going to kill them? No. No. They're going to treat them like gods, right? Because, like, I've never seen people like you before. Like, this is insanity. And then eventually, are the Aztecs going to figure it out? Yeah. yeah, mostly because the, uh, the Spanish men get drunk and then start killing people and raping women. So, not really what you'd want in your town, right? Not really godlike material. And then eventually when the Aztecs start putting back and fighting back, and you're like, no, 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 like, get the hell out of here. What do they do? They, they, they then start slaughtering them. And they start, the disease really starts kicking up and all that stuff. So it's not an immediate thing. So when the Spanish first get there, they're like wandering the city and just walking with the people. And that's really important. Why is that really important? Why, historically, is the fact that when the Spanish get there, they're welcomed into society and able to walk around the Aztecs. What, historically, is super significant about that? Nate? The Aztecs were, like, welcoming people. No. 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 What don't the Aztecs have, people? William? Guns? No. Well, yeah, that's going to solve, and that's going to be a major problem later. Guys. Morgan? No, they have plenty of food. You're going to see a massive list in there a second of all the food they have. What do you got? They have no, they do have a military. So fair. Okay, they don't have visa burn, but they're still doing pretty well. Guys, do we know much about most American civilizations? Why? Oh, they don't have a writing system. They don't have a writing system, right? So do we know that much about the Aztecs? Yes, ironically. Why? Oh, Why, William? So the Spanish didn't start killing them immediately, so they were able to walk around and learn about them and keep track of what they did. So the reason why we know about the Aztecs in as much detail as we do is because the Spanish arrived. Now, why aren't the Aztecs around anymore? Because the Spanish arrived. But we do at least have some uh, great detail. So you need to know that the Aztecs don't have a written language. Hey. 
have no written language, so this is why we know so much. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, and this is to Emperor Charles V. Who is that, you think? Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> King of Spain. He's writing a letter to his boss. His boss hired him to go over there and explore. All right, this city has many public markets and other places for buying and selling. There is one square where are daily assembled more than 60,000 souls engaged in buying and selling and where are found all kinds of merchandise that the world affords as, for instance, articles of food as well as jewels of gold, silver, lead, brass, copper, tin, precious stones, bones, shells, snails, and feathers. Now, you don't know this, but 60,000 people, this is going to be the largest city in the world. That includes London, Paris, Rome, and uh, Qinshou in uh, China. So it's the largest city in the world. Is that surprising to you? Yeah, when we think of the Americas, we don't really think of these massive metropolises, correct? And that's exactly what it is. All right. Uh, they are also exposed for sale raw and unwrought stone, bricks, burnt and unburnt, timber, hewn and unhewn of different sorts. There is a street for a game where every variety of birds in the country are sold as fowls, partridges, quails, wild ducks, flycatchers, widgeons, turtle doves, pigeons, reed birds, parrots, sparrows, eagles, hawks, owls, and kestrels. They sell likewise the skin of some birds of prey with their feathers, head, beak, and claws. They are also sold rabbits, hares, deer, and little dogs, which are raised for eating. There is also a herb street where they where it may be obtained all sorts of roots and medicinal herbs that the country affords. There are apothecary shops where prepared medicines, liquids, ointments, and plasters are all sold. Barber shops where they wash and shave the head, and restaurateurs that furnish food and drink at a certain price. So, is this place disorganized or organized? organized. It is super organized. They have language. Not know. I don't know. It's city planning, we can see. They're pretty damn good at it. Uh, wood and coal are seen in abundance. Braziers of earthenware are burning coals, mats of various kinds of beds. Others are lighter sorter for seats for halls and bedrooms. There are all kinds of green vegetables, especially onions, leeks, garlics, watercress, whatever the hell that is, borage, sorrel, artichokes, and golden thistle, fruits from numerous descriptions, amongst which are cherries, plums, honey, wax from bees, and from stalks of maize, which are as sweet as sugar cane. Honey is also extracted from the plant called mehui, sure, which is superior to sweet or new wine from the same plant. They extract sugar uh, and wine, which they also sell. Different kinds of cotton thread of all colors of skins are exposed for sale in one quarter of the market. Painters, colors, deer skins, dressed and undressed, dye different colors, earthenware of large size and excellent, excellent quality. Large and small jars, jugs, pots, bricks, and endless variety of vessels, all made of fine clay and all or most of them glazed and painted. Maize or Indian corn in the grain and in the, in the form of bread, preferred in the grain for its flavor to that of the other islands in terra firma. Pates of birds, fish, and great qualities of fish, fresh, salt, cooked, and uncooked. The, hen, uh, the eggs of hen, geese, and all other birds. Every kind of merchandise is sold in a particular street or quarter assigned to it exclusively, and thus the best order is preserved. There is a building in the Great Square that is used as an audience house where 10 or 12 persons who are magistrates sit and decide all controversies that arise in the market in order delinquents to be punished. In the same square, there are persons who break measures that were not true. Does he sound impressed or does he sound uh, condescending? He is super impressed, for sure. And then, within like three months of this, just goes on a killing spree. Alright, here we go. What is the historical context? The faster we go, the better your life is. What do you got, Morgan? Spain has arrived in the Americas. Alright, who's the audience of the peace? Autumn. Emperor Charles V. Emperor Charles V. Is he an emperor? Uh, technically, because he has an empire, the Spanish Empire. We typically just refer to him as King Charles of Spain. All right. Purpose. What is the purpose of the peace? What is the purpose of the peace? Philip. Is he trying to show the society? What is he trying to show off? 
not quite economic capabilities, but you're not far off the Morgan. The resources. Yeah. Showing off purpose is shows the abundance of resources. Does it sound like a lot here, people? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Don't you kind of want to see what this market would have looked like? Sounds pretty damn cool. What do you got, Annie? So, like, um, all this stuff that's there, like, all the resources are, like, um, from the Aztecs? Yeah. It's their market. Yeah, they had to come from that region. Okay. All right. What is he really, what is his goal of this piece? Why is he really writing all this stuff down? What is his motivation? Why is he writing to the king about this? Evan? So he showed up someplace, and he walked down a street, and all this stuff was sitting in the stalls. Is that really his success? Sophia? Maybe he's trying to, like, show him that it'd be a good idea to take over. Yes! Show that this place is of great value. Of great value. Why would the king of Spain want to know if this place is of great value or not? Why, Bobby? Yeah, it's yes. Do you want to conquer a place like Montana? <laughs> Do you want your empire in Montana? Or would you rather be, like, conquer New York? New York. You have waterways. You have plenty of abundance of materials. You have uh, a huge center of economic trade. Montana has corn. Do they have corn? I don't even know. What grow? What goes to Montana? <laughs> but they have to have something. Do they have no bison are dead mostly? Yeah. Buffalo, buffalo is oh, dead. Yeah. Buffalo is dead. Bison are still kicking it, I guess. Why do we care about this piece? Why do we care, Ethan? Why do we care in twenty eighteen? Like Why? You're completely right, but just give me a little bit of reason why. Because Spanish No. No. You can kill me right now. Oh, and do I not. still have resources at home that people could learn about me? Yes. Because the Aztecs don't have a whole Yes. Do you see how that's a much better answer than the answer you just gave me? Yes? Okay. So, why do we care? This shows Aztec. Lifestyle uh, pre Spanish, well, pre Spanish takeover because they have no writing system. All right, perfect. All right, here we go. All right, we got an optic. Are we excited? Yeah, don't all get excited at the same time, guys. All right, here we go. So when we do pictures, it's essentially the same thing. However, the title even becomes even more important to give us context. We try to figure out the most we can see from the picture, and then we fill out our information as best we can. All right, the Champanias of the Central Valley of Mexico. What? Did I say it dramatically? I don't care. That's fine. I, I pronounce everything wrong. Yeah, but this is just like so. <laughs> All right, what is it? What is it? What's chin chinapas? Is that better? <laughs> How would you say it, Cynthia? What? No, it's fine. No, I would just say it. It's fine. <coughs> Nate. Chinapas. 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 Yeah, chinapas. 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 What are they? <laughs> Autumn. They're like the floating gardens that they made with the, the mud from the water. Well, that's part of it. They also have wood, but yeah. Floating uh, farm plots. How's that? All right. Some of them were used for like flowers and make pretty. Why do they need them? Who did their reading? That hand went straight down. Uh, Amy. Cool. Do we do it here in Florida? Yes. No, we don't. <laughs> Why, Autumn? Yeah. They both are sitting on like an island. Yeah! 
Yeah! Their city is built on an island in a swamp. Why did they pick an island in a swamp? That sounds like a terrible place to build a city. Why, Autumn? Okay, yes, but there's another religious reason why. Their God said that the city of the best, the most sacred place you can build your city would be with an eagle with a snake on his mouth on a cactus. So they went on like an 18 or like 30 day trek wandering around looking for it. And then they got to this nasty lake and guess what they see in the center of the damn lake? An eagle with a snake in his mouth sitting on a cactus. And they're like, damn it. <laughs> so that is where they build their city. Yes, is there military strategies for sure? If you look at the flag of Mexico, guess what's on it? An eagle with a snake in its mouth standing on a cactus. Because the capital of Mexico is? A swamp. Yeah. Well, it used to be a swamp. It's no longer a swamp. Mexico, well, it's not dried up. They filled in a lot of it. Um, however, when the Aztecs were there, it was a swamp. So, in order to do, live there where their gods wanted them to, they built these. Now, they got so good at them that about, they estimate about 60% of their farming and structures are on these things. These floating gardens. That's hella impressive. They could have two to three story houses on these floating things. It is a literal, do you see I'm avoiding it because you're so judgy? I'm looking right at you. Uh, they got so good at it that um, they could have two to three story buildings on them. Like, could you imagine seeing that in person? It's like a flo it's a straight up floating city. All right, but what do we see in our picture? Don't tell me. A boat. What do we see? What do you got, Nick? Cool. What do you see in the damn picture, man? I'm not asking you to. What do I see in the picture? I yes. see a man in a boat also along the stream. <laughs> Is there anything in his boat, Nick? It looks like, kind of like tops. We have a man carrying goods. Okay, what else do we see here, people? We, we don't see anything else. Yes, we see trees, yes. By the way, this is a drawing. Yes, it's a drawing. They don't have ph photographs, people. We just <laughs> talked about how Mexico City does not look like this anymore. They filled in the swamp. God damn. It's a drawing. What else do we see? What do you got, William? I don't see any chim <laughs> they are. This is what the whole thing is. It's all, wait. That is, that is, that is, the whole thing is. That's all floating? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, it's cool as hell, man. Nathan, what do you see? Uh, the one guy's hand and the other guy's supplies, and then, like, down the stream, there's somebody else. Okay, so we got trading. Fine. This guy. Guys, does it look like there's a structure here? Yeah. Yes, this is a trading post of some sort. So a store or a trading post or something. Okay, we got trade going on. You people are killing. Me. What is the matter? What is the matter? Well, then don't talk about it in my class, but I definitely don't want to know. All right, here we go. So what is the historical context? We got Emerson. What? Say it wrong. Yeah, it's watch out. They're super judgy about it, so watch out. <laughs> what is happening in the world here, girl? Emerson, what's happening? What's the historical context, Emerson? Oh, God, no. Okay. Annie? Nathan. Um, the Aztecs are starting to build their capital city in the area of the eagle eating snake on a campus. <laughs> How about Aztecs build a city on a swamp? Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. Well, who is the audience of this piece? What do we got, Josh? Cool. You're going to sit there for like four or five hours drawing this damn pig and say, Historians are really going to love this. 
Who's drawing it, do you think? It's in period. It, who do you think is drawing this? Huh? No, actually. <laughs> it's not a Mexican. Why would a Mexican draw this? Why wouldn't a Mexican draw this? William? Because this is daily life for them. Yeah. They don't care. Probably a Spaniard. There you go. It's a Spanish person drew it. Nice job. Okay, so who's the audience then? Spanish people in Spain. Ah, oh, shit. It's about Spanish people. Huh? This is not a good day for me. I got home at 1 a.m. this morning from work. It's great. Yeah, it's good. Just not much brain activity. Purpose. What is the purpose of this, Kaiser? Uh, to show what daily life is like in Nah. So, this guy sails across an ocean, probably almost died at sea numerous times, and is just spending four or five hours to show, oh, my mother would love to know what the daily life looks like here. Why do you think he's doing it? Would you draw some daily life? Do you draw people doing their laundry and folding it and putting it in drawers? That's daily life, isn't it? So why do you think they drew this? Why? Nate? It's like Okay, and it's, hi, they have a floating city that happens to be one of the largest cities in the world, if not the largest city. Are you not impressed? This is a Spanish guy drawing it. It's a Spanish guy. It's a Spanish guy. Hi, why is he drawing this, William? To show that it's a good bear and it can conquer it. And it's just, <laughs> oh my god, you people are definitely doing the Mongols by yourself because we're not going to have. Hi, please help me. To show how cool these people are? Yes! It's to show how cool these people are. Yes, it's to show Aztec accomplishment. I spelled Aztec wrong, it's fine. Oh, man, I spelled that one wrong, too. Okay, it's to show Aztec accomplishments. Now, what is the point of view? Why is he really doing this? Does he respect them, or does he hate them? Respect. He respects their ingenuity, their accomplishments. We'll keep it. He respects their accomplishments and abilities, for sure. Do you think this is a high-up guy or a low-level dude? I Probably a low level dude. It's probably a low level dude. Why do we care? Why do we care, Morgan? Okay, well, written is not drawing, but yes. Okay. There you go. This is the only image of. C H I N A P A S. I don't even know if that's spelled correct. Don't don't get in on this, Emerson. Okay, I can't be bullied by you as well. All right, here we go. Marco Polo on the Taters, Mongol women from his travels. Of Marco Polo. What? Tartars. <laughs> Tartars. <laughs> Tartars. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. I, I'm so glad. This is due on Wednesday. You need to complete it. By the way, it's all about sex, so enjoy. Yeah, it's literally all about sex. Huh? What, sweetie? There you go. Or the multiple men. I know, our, lay, our women get some independence here. Goodbye.